Hey y'all, Gator Bomb BC here, and it is Sunday, May 19th, and I am headed out to get my newspapers like I do every Sunday morning. Yay! Also, I'm gonna hit some five minutes of couponing today. You know, I, I, I'm not very prepared, I gotta tell you. Um, yesterday I was, I'm a teacher, and yesterday I chaperoned uh, eighth graders to Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens, roller coasters, and walking and heat and eighth graders but it was a great trip and I was blessed to have some wonderful wonderful students in my I group. I say props to all those teachers if you were in Bush Gardens yesterday chaperoning a group of kids or if you've been anywhere with a group of kids on any field trip anywhere props to you all you teachers because you know I know here in Florida we get a bad rap we teachers everything's our fault we're money grubbers, we want tenure, we want pensions, you know, we want all these things. But the fact is, looking around that park yesterday at all those teachers, I knew very well that just like me, none of them were getting paid. They all volunteered their hours on Saturday. 17 hours is what it cost us yesterday and um, between the trip. And all of them rode up on little yellow school buses surrounded by loud teenagers and all of them did it with a smile, did it with no pay, did it while they had to take their own cards out of their own wallets and pay for their own food and sometimes their own tickets even. They and, sacrificed uh, a lot knowing that every single one of them, because they live in Florida, could lose their contract based on one test score given and one test months ago to these kids. They are not evaluated on field trips, they're evaluated on a bubble test given and scored by some corporation. No. So I thought about that when I was walking around Bush Gardens. I wanted to shake the hand of every teacher out there and thank them for that. I would have shook some senators' hands too, but I didn't see any of them chaperoning. <laughs> any politics for Sunday morning, but I'm headed to go get my paper, and I am going off to CVS, so I'll film the five minutes right after this and let you see what I get. Um, I did print a list, but then I ran out of the house this morning and forgot the list on my printer, so I'll be pulling it up on my smartphone from the Southern Savers website. Uh, I do remember there was some Revlon hair color on there for very, very cheap. Of course, the Sally Hansen still going free money maker. Um, there was some shaving gel on there, or shaving cream on there, I want to say. I can't remember. I want to say Extra or Chic or one of them, or Gillette, maybe. I don't remember, but I'll pull that up. And I know that's a money maker with the Peelys. Uh, there was a Dove deal with extra care bucks back where you could get some Dove hair care and body wash and clear. That was very, very cheap. You know, I think you pay seven, get back five, something like that. Yeah, and I wanted um, to let you know, I did my coupon giveaway, my stockpile giveaway to my students on Friday at their end of the year party. And uh, I gave away over $400 worth of product to eighth graders. You know, mascara that I've gotten, eyeshadow body wash, hair hair shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff. They loved it. They absolutely loved it. They were so appreciative. I laid it out on the table all day and let them walk by and look at it as they went to and from class. And they all were asking me about couponing. How'd you get this for free? How did this make you money? And uh, so, you know, uh, that's, my, that's my deal. If I can bless one child, one young person, you know, one new adult, with couponing skills and teach them how to do it, then I know all of this is worthwhile. Because boy, if I had learned this when I was younger, what a difference it would have made. So it was really nice to see such, and they were so appreciative. Even a bottle of shampoo, so many thank yous. So it was very, very nice. Back in just anyway, a few, I will talk to you soon.